this year are participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, an intestinal issue that they found and um, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had, actually it was uh, what killed one of the Bee Gees. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents us so many other things. And so you know, it was great that the doctors were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Josh Hopkins be able to have better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But uh, just anything you give um, would be really helpful. And also, um, they uh, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, thank you for uh, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center. Thank you extra life. Enjoy the stream. Hey, I'm Eric, as you know, and um, I'm playing Tengami today. Uh, it's a game that I've been wanting to play for a while. Um, I'm going to turn off the webcam because uh, some other people wanted to uh, um, use the room uh, in addition to, to me. And, um, you know, they're not uh, broadcasting, so they don't, shouldn't have to be on. So I'm going to turn off the webcam now as soon as I find the, uh, as soon as I find it here. Okay. All right. So you should still be able to hear me. And um, here we go. Let's play some uh, Tengami. <coughs> so this game's aesthetic is what really drew me to it. And um, so basically, it's a pop-up book, which is kind of a neat aesthetic for a game. Looks like there's going to be a theme of seasons here. <laughs> so no more hints at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I'm pushing the uh, arrow keys. That's not doing anything. I'm pushing Wazda. That's not doing anything. <laughs> ah! I missed the... Uh, Cherry blossom up here. So he wakes up. paper guy into the place and turn the page. Alright, looks like I'm starting the game proper. <coughs> I have to say the visuals are pretty beautiful um, so far. I think they're, um, they're pretty neat and definitely unlike any other indie that I've ever, um, ever experienced. Um, let's see. So here goes my guy walking. Um, ooh, very cool. Wolf up there. The moon. The flower over here. So anywhere I click, looks like I can walk there. Not in the water. I click the wolf. Nothing happens. Oh, he gurs. Growls. Um, okay. Let's see here. Just uh, really, really quickly. I want to test my mic, make sure it's going through. Just a minute, let me load up here into Twitch. 
Uh, so I'm streaming into uh, both Twitch and YouTube. Hello, both Twitch and YouTube. I haven't decided yet what I want to do um, in terms of... Ooh, so now I hear that out of my left ear. That's very cool. I always like when they do stuff like that. Drag to pull. Very neat. That's pretty cool. So there I go. Ah, looks like the wolf fell asleep. Alright, let me do a really quick um, test here to make sure I can hear the audio. Just bear with me for a second. audio is working perfectly. Okay, so I'm going across this landscape. Very, very beautiful, very neat. Um, not 100% sure what I should be doing other than walking to the right, as most games go. Then again, this is the intro level, so they're probably going to ease me into the puzzles. <coughs> ah, so, ooh, I like how it's zooming out. Very pretty. The whole thing is shaking with the force of this river as I cross the bridge. Um, there's definitely... Oh, it wants me to close it up again so nothing can follow me, I guess? Interesting. Or maybe I didn't have to, maybe it was just letting me know I could click that. I'm gonna stay away from these uh, wolves for now. Uh, hmm, looks like he's following me somewhat. Not sure if I should be going there or not, but I clicked on it. Looks like I might go around and up these stairs. See if I this game has death in it or not. Oh, there go my stairs. Let's try that again, huh? So every time I try to go up, the wolf um, stops it. So let's see, maybe there's something over here that I need to take care of. Couldn't be the wind chimes again, that'd be a bit much, I think. So, going across. The wolf is definitely following as I go from left to right. Perhaps when he meets up with another wolf, he'll leave me alone. Oh, here we go, the chimes again. Looks like I'm not close enough to trigger anything yet. Okay, let's see. So each of these chimes controls one wolf, I guess. Just make them go to sleep. It did before. Does he stay there? Nope, he follows me. So clearly, clearly, this, these chimes, I mean, the chimes before seem to make him go to sleep. Maybe there's a certain order I need to do these in. Okay, so maybe this one first. No? Perhaps one at a time? So I appear to be stumped already. Hmm. Maybe this one. This one. This one. This one. Hmm. There are only so many permutations possible. Let's see. Did I do this one first yet? Okay. So bottom right. So let's start with bottom right. Okay, this one. Okay, so I'm going to try a diagonal X. I'll do 
it this one? This one? Okay. Okay. Alright, everyone howled. Looks like I did what I need to do, and they're gonna go to sleep. So now I can go back to that area over there. Very cool. They're definitely following the good level design rules of slowly introducing the player to different mechanics. And the puzzle wasn't too hard. There's only so many permutations possible. Alright, now I go to where it had asked me to go in the first place. So it's definitely a very beautiful um, setting. <laughs> if the story is meant to be anything more than metaphorical, I'm not sure exactly what the story is just yet. Um, my guy does appear to be some kind of a samurai or samurai stereotype. heading to a, uh, a Shinto uh, shrine. I forgot what these things are called. Perhaps Tengami, the name of the game. I can't remember. I know my brother would know, because my brother um, did a baseball tour of Japan, and they visited all these um, Shinto shrines. <coughs> hmm. Interesting. So, at the moment, no puzzles, just advancing the story, little by little. I imagine there'll be a puzzle here in terms of getting into the door. <laughs> okay, so no, no relief there. I come to the right. Uh, there seemed to be something beckoning me to the left over here. Perhaps it was my imagination. Let's see. Ah, I see. It was it was these lamps over here, however. I appear to be blocked in my and I So I'm gonna go this way and see what's over to the right then. So like I was saying before, um, I'm streaming at the moment to just to YouTube and Twitch. I'd been doing Twitch all this time before. Um, and so uh, with Twitch, oh, let's see what happens here. Some leaves are falling. Am I supposed to reach into the well? My guy's kind of standing still. Oh, oh, I see the inside of the well. So he's standing up against the well. Ah, I can empty the well. <laughs> I like that thinking pose my guy gave. Okay. And what's this? Something that surely I will bring back up with the water. So perhaps storytelling begins now. It's a crest piece. Whatever that means. I mean, I know what it means in a metaphorical sense. In a literal sense, but I'm not sure what I mean in terms of the game. So I have it, Chris Peace. Perhaps now I can enter the room. Um, so Twitch, you know, uh, as you know, if if you know any of this stuff, they they don't um, automatically archive your um, your uh, videos. <coughs> and you have to um, make highlights, basically, and really the intent of a highlight, from what I understand, would be to, um, I'm going to try coming this way if I can. It looks like that's the edge of the book. Okay. The point of a highlight would be to show something really, really cool that happened. I've been using them to archive the entire um, stream only because of the uh, fact that I'm raising money for Extra Life at the moment. But, uh... <coughs> but I've been saving the, um, I've been sending it to YouTube for additional so this goes here and that does what? Ah, that allows me to open the door. Okay. 
Okay, and I turn the page. So now I'm inside. Okay, so I can, can open that. I think there's a point to stand on. I can go this way. Let's see what's over here. Just for the sake of exploring. Um, so I've been saving the videos to YouTube for more exposure since I'm raising money for Extra Life. But at the same time, uh, recently I've been having a lot of issues with Twitch and um, bandwidth. And so um, I've been saving desktop recordings to YouTube. Now that YouTube has YouTube Gaming, um, I, I could be saving it. Uh, well, I, you know, my streams will automatically end up there. Um, but my stream, because of bandwidth issues, could potentially not be as nice quality as as I could otherwise manage. So I haven't decided quite yet if I'm going to um, keep the live streams up. I don't know what I would be gaining or losing by by not doing that. Um, so for now, I'm going to have a, a copy of the with the live stream, and then I'm going to have another copy that will say like disc copy or something, and that's what's going to end up in my playlists. So, um, a bit of exploration there. I couldn't see anything. Doesn't mean there wasn't some kind of DLC I missed up in the trees or something. Um, but that's okay. Let's go up here to where it was asking me to go to. <coughs> I imagine I'll turn the page and then end up further inside the dojo or um, the uh, monastery, as as it may be. I found a piece of flower, which obviously would be important in this game. Uh, I'm not sure how I end up back there. I can see the stairs lead up there. Perhaps. Let's see. Perhaps I'm missing something. Let me go back one step. And go. What happens if I'm here when I turn the page? Perhaps I won't be allowed to turn the page if I'm not standing in the right spot. Because this is where I came from before. So it just definitely doesn't let me turn the page that way. I also can't walk here from where I came from. So there may be something I'm going to have to go to the left again for. But let me try flipping this page again and see <laughs> what I missed. <laughs> if I missed something. So here I am. So I can't send my guy anywhere here or here. Ah! Interesting. So I open that door. So what does that mean? Oh, I can stand here perhaps? And turn back this way. That's not what I want. Okay, I opened this. So how do I get there? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, perhaps I perhaps I have opened something on the other side. Let's see. So if I turn the book this way, perhaps. There's something back here I can perhaps go to. be back there. None of that seems to help me. Um, let's see if, uh, so there were some lampposts, perhaps there'll be something where I touch the pages together or something like that, and then I'll be able to make my way over. As far as I know, there's no way to turn the page. Let me see, settings. No, I don't see anything else specifically in that that vein. All right, I guess let's go this way. Ah, here we go. Perfect. That's where I need to get to. 
I see. <coughs> Things have become quite interesting suddenly here. I guess I had to open that door in order to trigger this over here. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the logic, but... <coughs> okay. Ah, there, there's the logic. I see. Because I opened the... the door in the next page. This is very interesting. I really, really like the aesthetic a lot. It's really very, very cool. So now I see where I am. Okay, getting over here. Okay, and now I should be, yep, right there, perfect. And then I should be able to come up here and get the flower. <laughs> perfect. Wolves sleeping beneath pale moonlight, dreams unfold. A hey, uh, haiku. <laughs> Alright, I have the first achievement, Howling Wolves, very cool. I'm not, doesn't look like you can see that on the live stream. Okay, so now I'm back where the game began. Um, I can move around, okay. Uh, where can I go? Can I go back there? Whoa. That's a lot of flowers for the winter. Um, the cherry blossoms here in DC are much more fragile than that. Ooh, now it's like uh, autumn, I guess. Or maybe summer. Right. So I, it looks like maybe I need to find another flower. Maybe there's a flower I need to find in each level, per se. <laughs> Every time I say per se, I think of uh, butters in uh, the goth episode. Kind of. Ooh, very pretty. Except there's my goal up there. I love how the sound is stereo goes from my right ear to my left ear as I travel through the book. Okay. So I have a wild to get over there, so this is probably gonna be a much more complex puzzle than the one before. Or perhaps this one won't be as they're setting things up, but Eventually, it appears that it will be. Okay, so I can pull that over. Pull that over. Very cool. So I want to go here first. No, here? Ah, there we go. Very cool. Does that help me? That does not help me. There we go. Ooh, tricky. So, so far nothing here matters. This one, I want to go maybe back this way. This one, is there a way I can just move over a little bit? No. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. 
this is not quite as simple as it first appeared. <coughs> this, I bet this is a version of the uh, the cow, the chicken, and the uh, the wolf. Let's see if I can figure this out. There we go. Ah, perfect. Very cool. Okay, new area, new puzzle. Let's see here. Okay. okay. Surely it won't be so simple. And it is not, because now I need things to be somewhat higher, don't I? Hmm. Ah, there we go. And continue to the left. Definitely could be summer, but I think it's fall. Oh, good, I made it to my objective here. Very neat. Ah, interesting. So, two areas to go in. This one takes me.
maybe I can. Let's see. Yes, I can walk. Where goes water? Piece of a dial. Okay. Nothing this way. Let's check this side. Nothing over there. Alright, let's head back. So let's see if that makes a difference here. <laughs> Does not appear to. So let's go back to the fall. seems to glow. I don't know any way of moving the scene around. Yet that wouldn't be there for that reason.
yin yang, but red and green instead of black and white. Okay, something was unlocked. Bells. Okay, so I assume I have to go back. simple. Now what do I do? See if I can go back two seasons maybe. Actually, I should guess I should have tried the house first. to load here. So that took me just a little over half an hour. So it looks like I can probably finish up the game tomorrow. Um, which is pretty, pretty neat. It's uh, not so often you get a game that's nice and quick and short, um, but also very beautiful, and very, very interesting. So um, let's see. So I uh, hope you'll join me tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, then the next day, uh, when I play the game. Um, I'm pretty interested to see where it goes. Um, even if the story itself doesn't develop any further, um, it's 
still very interesting to look at, and the puzzles are really cool. Uh, really you know, pushes my brain in a different way than I'm used to for these games, so that's really cool too. All right, well, thanks. Um, if you enjoy these, uh, make sure you subscribe either on uh, YouTube or Twitch, so you can see whenever I uh, put in the next one.